recording in Pro Tools using Logic, Digital Performer, Cubase, Nuendo, Reason, or Ableton Live? Let us mix your project today. We will give your songs a sound that rivals today's hottest acts. Visit eneonicity.com for more details. Welcome to Lesson 3. In this lesson, we will be going over basic editing in Pro Tools 7 LE. There are four different edit modes in Pro Tools. Shuffle, Spot, Slip, and Grid. The first mode we're going to discuss is Grid. If you toggle between Slip and Grid, you will notice that in the main edit window, the grid goes away. The resolution of the grid is determined by the grid value. Over here on the grid value pop-up, you have a choice of different resolutions from one bar to one sixty-fourth note. You also have the option of using dotted and triplet. You can also choose minutes and seconds, samples, and regions and markers. For this lesson, we're going to use bars and beats. And we're also going to use a resolution of one bar. So what we're going to do is make several copies of this loop by using the selector tool. Highlight all the tracks. Hit Apple C, which is copy. And if you go to edit, go down to where it says repeat. And it'll ask you for the number of repeats you wish to have. Hit enter. And Pro Tools sets it up. So now we have eight repetitions of this four bar pattern. If we start at the beginning of the sequence, you'll notice how it'll go right into the next one. Hit the space bar for play. And that gives you a brief introduction of the grid mode. Slip mode is different in that it doesn't conform to a grid, but lets you freely change your edits. If you notice in the pad, it's a little bit off. So we'll go ahead and play it from bar 7 to give you an example. So what we're going to do is we're going to move that pad up just a little bit. And we also want to get a better visual of the pad track. So go to Track View and Height Selector and hit large. Now in slip mode what we'll do is we'll go up to the trim tool which gives us a little bracket and we're going to go right up to where that pad begins. Going up here to the horizontal zoom in we'll click on that a few times. We'll also move our transport and we'll get in just a little bit tighter. We'll grab the pad and move it over where we want it to go. So I'm going to guess about right there. Go back to bar 5, space bar. In summary, what the slip mode does is it allows you to freely move back and forth, up and down, a region in a section where you're not restricted to a grid. The next mode we're going to discuss is spot. In the spot mode, when you click on a region, a spot dialog comes up, and it allows you to dial in via numeric values where you want a region to start, or where you may want it to end, or possibly line up a sync point, which I'll go over in a later lesson. So we can see in this first region here, redrum 1, it starts at bar 5. If we wanted to change that, we could just type in a value, enter, and if we go to bar 105, there it is. We're going to go ahead and undo that, go back to bar 5. And finally, we'll discuss shuffle mode. To get a better idea of what shuffle mode does, I'm going to zoom out. As we can see, we have eight repetitions of this loop. What I could do if I wanted to get rid of two was I could go to grid mode first and pick two of them that happen in the full section. If I go over to Shuffle, it will delete those two tracks and push everything forward, which comes after that. Versus if I were in grid mode, and I were to hit Delete, I would just have empty space. So what Shuffle does is it pushes forward anything that's after a particular edit that you do. 
This can be helpful when you're shortening your sequences or want to get rid of unnecessary repetitions. And this concludes lesson three.